select one of the letters hit period on that we can zoom into the letters and we can see better what's going on with the actual particles so now you can see them a little bit which looks nice uh, and we'll turn phase up just a little bit to maybe 0.2 um, and random phase maybe to 0.2 as well and now we can play this they're kind of moving a little bit it's kind of difficult to see but they are moving a little bit uh, in velocity we, this is what's going to help us out a lot we can turn the randomized to 0.5 the normal to maybe two. Ah, that's gonna be too fast. Huh? Eh, 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 yeah, it's too fast. It's distracting. Uh, we'll go back to one. Yeah, one's better. It definitely looks more natural at one. Um, sweet. So that looks much better. Now, if we were to go ahead and turn the what was oh angular velocity we need to go ahead and turn the amount of this up a little bit so they rotate a little bit uh, so maybe I think this phase needs to be turned down to point one and the randomized phase on point one as well and in the velocity this needs to be turned down from point five to point two uh, that's too much uh, yeah that's much better I think maybe even point one I want them to kind of go straight up and just have a little bit of variation. Um, all right, so I think that looks good. Now we need to go ahead and go to, where is this at now? I can never remember now that they changed it in 2.8. We need, oops, let me just stop that for the time being. Uh, no, oh, we can do this first. We can change the emit from uh, faces to volume and the jittered, well, we don't need to do that since it's a plane. We can leave it on faces, faces. We can change from jittered to random and make sure even distribution is uh, is on, is checked. Um, now, we need to find, there it is, in physics. All right, sweet. So, we can change the Brnoian, the Brownian. You know how we do on this channel to so maybe 0.5. Uh, give it a little bit of a motion. Commotion, commotion, ocean, motion, potions. I don't know, something like that. And maybe we'll turn the damp up just a little bit by 0 0.001. That's going to be too much. Or maybe not enough. Uh, maybe 0 0.01. That's going to be too much, I think. I think that might be good. I don't want the particles to stop in front of the text, though. So what we're going to do... Actually, maybe, maybe I do, but I just don't want them to be as big. They're kind of large right now. So we're going to go ahead and go to... Where is that at? Extra? No? Not extra. It's somewhere. At, oh, what am I thinking? It's right here. <laughs> we're going to change the scale. Uh, we're going to change the scale way down and turn the scale randomness all the way up to 1. Maybe we'll do the scale to 0.1. No, no, that's too big. 0 0.08. 0 0.05. Yeah, 0 0.05. And of course, you know, it's going to be more because we're going to put this back on uh, 20,000. So when it plays, it'll look like this instead. Um, and if we were to give this a, those are going to be too big still. Let me just uh, 0 0.02. We might as well just do 0 0.02. Sure, why not? 0 0.02. And then we, hit, if we hit render on this, you can see that they look super small, nice and tiny in the background there, back there, which looks really good. Um, but we still have some nice looking uh, stuff in the foreground here as well. So that looks good. I like it. I want to go ahead and change the material though. So the material on the, where is it at? Up here, particle on the particle. We want to change that material. Uh, the, the emission needs to be brighter than just the one. So we're going to put that on maybe even two, maybe even five. Um, what does five look like? Five is going to be too much. Let's do two. Uh, two will be fine. Two should be fine, yeah, sure. Um, now, we're going to do a little bit with the bloom later on, but not right now. We'll leave that off for the time being. We can also turn ambient occlusion off right now, uh, get a few more frames in there, and subsurface scattering, uh, sorry, a screen space reflections, rather, is also going to be on. <clears throat> so, um, color management can be changed, but I think, I think, eh, I just like the default better because I like being able to change the colors myself. So let's see, all of our colors still looking good even on default. Let's go ahead and take a look. Let me hide the particle system uh, because it's going to give us major laggage. We'll just go ahead and turn that off for a second. And I think all my colors still look good. I think all the colors still look good the way they are. Yeah. Um, maybe that orange can be a little 
the pink on the lamp rather can be a little bit lighter so go back to that light one and uh, on these see when you have uh, one of those uh, color presets on it always changes what things looks like look like and I don't like that so I mean it looks good if you're just doing you know a simple thing but I like being able to completely control what the colors are and what they look like without having to go back and do this um, because I don't like that it changes them for itself I want the exact color that I gave not an overlay on top of that color um, so yeah let's go ahead and fix that and then there's the back one that's blue uh, this back one that's blue is a little too blue so we will go ahead and change that. That looks good. A little much better. All right, much much better. I like it. Um, looks good. I think uh, now we need to go ahead and just do a little bit more with the animation, and we should be pretty good with uh, this uh, this render. Now, if we like I said, let me just real quick, and I'll show you. You see this plane here. If we go ahead and render this now, uh, it should not show up because we have render emitter off there. There we go. It's not there anymore, which is nice. So uh, we are looking good uh, now. If I were to if I were to go ahead and this lamp right here, uh, that softness, what was that on? Uh, six? I think we can get away with turning these up to maybe something huge, like, is that 20? Maybe even 50. Let's do 50. We'll turn the, the softness of, up to 50 on all the lamps because I'm seeing some, some artifacts which I don't like seeing. So we'll turn, there we go, that's what I was trying to get rid of. We can turn the softness on those lamps up to 50, which is super big, but that's fine, because now we got rid of all that weird-looking, nasty ugliness that we see with those shadows uh, in Blender 2.8. So now we have uh, the shadows working nice. We have the particles, even though they're off right now. Uh, we have all that stuff going nice and good. I'm going to leave the particles off for the time being because we need to do some more animation. Um, now, for the rest of the... I'm actually going to just hide the plane, so I'm going to select the plane and hit H to hide it. Uh, there we go. All right, so what do I want to do now? Let's go ahead and I'm just going to listen to this a couple times through and see what else we can do and other places we can. We, I know we have to do the end, but other than that. When it goes, dun, dun, I kind of want to raise the Y up. Or maybe the I instead. Because the I can just slip out nice and easy. The Y, we're going to have some problems with that one since the T is in the way. Yeah, let's do the I. So we'll raise the I up right here. So right here, we will select that I, hit I to insert location. Then we'll move it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe this much. And we'll hit G to move that up. We'll move it up like that much. And then we'll go away a little bit and move it up a little bit more. So it kind of has some tapering. And then you guessed it on that kick. We want to pull it back down. Uh, I, don't, I don't want this one to pop. So I want it to just kind of go down. Uh, smoothly but just fast so we'll grab this one again control D uh, sorry shift D duplicate we'll move that one over like this so now it pops in too much so I kind of want to dip it down and then have it pop back up as well and I think that's clipping right now you just can't see it and then we'll pop and we'll duplicate this one and then pull it back up for that yeah, I think that goes up too far. So we'll just we'll move it back down, and then we'll grab this one and move this one down as well. I don't think it goes up fast enough. So we'll move that one over, and and then maybe when it goes down like that, it'll rotate the other direction. So yeah, I like it. Is that clipping on the S? No, no, no. The S and the T are way far away. All right, we're looking good with that. Okay. Ooh, that yellow is really good. It is clipping right there, and I didn't notice that. So let's fix that. I don't like it when it clips. I don't like that at all. So we will actually pull that S out like that, which might look a little strange, but it does look kind of strange. But we'll just hmm. I think that's fine, right? Yeah, alright. 